Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu friends welcome back to my channel in this a reverse polarity protection in DC circuits it is our third video in first video we discussed how we can use a rectifier and what will the effect and how we can select the proper diode for this protection in video number 540 we discussed how we can use diode as a shunt protection and how we can consider its value it is our third video video number 541 in this session we will discuss how we can use a relay to protect our DC circuit this is our positive line positive line will reach here directly at the common point and it will connect it here it is the output terminal common normally closed normally open N C N O. Then we will connect our rectifier diode to operate this relay. This positive voltage now are reaching at this common terminal and it will not go to the output section until unless this winding will verify, this relay will verify that the polarity is good. This is negative line. So positive and negative. When this diode will forward bias, at that time this relay will allow to pass the current, it will close its points and we will take output for the load. Positive, negative. When the polarity is reversed, here will negative, so negative will apply to the anode. So that the relay will remain off. Now we can connect LED here. When there will reverse polarity, this LED will indicate that the circuit is not being operated because of reverse polarity. How we can calculate the resistor value? I discussed it in video number 539. You can calculate the resistor value for the LED. So let's make this circuit. What we will take benefit from this, this circuit? This circuit will consume little amount of current to energize the relay. When the relay is on, it will allow the voltage and circuit will remain protected all the time. Just the loss here that an additional draw in the input current will occur from this relay. But it is not too much. It is not a big deal. We can compromise. It is always in milliampere. So it will energize and it will protect the load. Here there was a problem that there was a voltage drop. In this diagram, whenever the polarity is reversed, the fuse will burn out. But in this circuit, we have benefit that the load will take voltage just only when the polarity is verified that positive is here, negative is here. Now we have to determine the load current. While selecting a relay, we need to determine the load current. For example, our load 1 ampere. So we must select the double amperage or triple. If it is 1 ampere, we must select 2 ampere or 3 ampere relay so that the contact must be in safe limit. There will no sparking so the circuit will work smoothly. As I discussed, now we are selecting 3 ampere relay, 3A, 3 ampere relay. It is 12 volt DC relay so that means the coil is 12 volt operated. This pin is common pin, set multimeter to continuity. This one is common. This is normally closed and this is normally open. When we apply 12 volt here, When we apply 12 volt in the coil, at that time, these two points will make. This is the common pin, which we discussed here. So we will apply voltage at the common pin. So this is input terminal. We will connect our diode, rectifier diode, between the positive voltage and the coil. Now we connect it positive voltage at the common pin in the output switch normally these voltage will reach here 
it will just only allow the voltage when the positive is here and ground is here positive here and negative here now we will find the voltage between common pin that is here we will take the same common line to the output load and this pin here we have 12 volt now I will connect LED in the same direction for reverse polarity indication diode mode this is the cathode cathode we will connect to the positive side I am connecting 500 ohm resistance it is 1k 1k in parallel two resistor in parallel it will become 500 ohms now we will connect between input line that is here now we made this circuit so this is the output terminal which we connected here common is coming at this point and it is going outside in the common line we connected our resistor it is 500 ohms as per calculation we can select 680 ohms but now I am I have 500 ohms this LED anode is connected in this side and cathode is connected to positive terminal now this circuit will allow only when the positive voltage are connected here and negative is connected here we will receive voltage if sometime by mistake if we will reverse the polarity we will reverse the leads the LED will glow and we will not have any output in the output circuit why because this relay it is off now the coil is not energized so this circuit will allow only when the voltage are up connected in correct polarity the relay will energize in correct polarity and it will give voltage for reverse polarity you can you can connect this LED near the input terminals so that whenever the wires are reversed it will give indication that the input polarity is wrong and circuit is off we will continue in our upcoming videos with polarity converters how we can convert the polarity automatically for protection we can connect a diode here so it will protect this relay from the oscillation effect what is the oscillation effect when this relay will on we can see the LED when we would turn off due to oscillation effect of the coil it will contact again so we will we can connect a diode here in this direction if this video is good hit the like button if you have any question let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh